Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Rooted in Jesus podcast. I am Sheridan, your host. Hello, and welcome back to the podcast, guys. And welcome to the podcast if you guys are new. Today's podcast is going to be a little different. I'm going to be talking just about what I've been doing this week. I recently had gallbladder surgery, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what God has been doing in my life lately. So I guess I'll start with gallbladder surgery and then I'll work my way up to this week and what I've been doing. So I hope you guys enjoy a podcast like this. You guys may know that I had gallbladder surgery, not this Monday, but the Monday before that. And I was very scared about it. But even though it was an easy surgery and it's not like a big deal gallbladder surgery me not having had surgery before it was very difficult for me to trust God in that situation because I never had surgery before and the unknown is scary to us all so if you've never had surgery before you're gonna be scared and worried about it because that's an unknown and No matter how big or how small the surgery, you know, something can always go wrong. I'm not going to go too in detail about this, but I will say I went to a few Bible studies and things of that nature over Zoom. I talked to my friends about it and told them to pray about it because I'm a person who passes out if they have blood drawn or anything like that. So I do not do well at the doctor's office. It's not my favorite thing. So having surgery was not my favorite idea ever. Two weeks prior to having the surgery, I decided to learn some verses to calm myself down if I went into panic mode or anything during the surgery. And I learned the verse that says, You will keep the mind that is dependent on you in perfect peace, for it is trusting in you. Trust in the Lord forever, because in the Lord, the Lord himself is an everlasting rock. And that is in Isaiah. And that verse is just awesome how when you memorize scripture and you get those verses into your head, in situations, you can use those verses and think on that and think, He is my everlasting rock. I am going to be okay during surgery. And guys, the other verse that I learned was Psalm 29 verses 10 through 11. And it says, the Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned king forever. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses his people with peace. So the whole verses that I learned were about peace, and that's what I wanted to feel during my surgery was that peace that surpasses all understanding, and I was in Zoom calls, I was in Maddie Ray's discipleship program, and people prayed for me several different times, I was in a Bible study group the night before my surgery, and My friends in that call were very encouraging, very uplifting, and they prayed for me and just quoted other scriptures to encourage me. And that morning I woke up earlier than I was supposed to. I woke up at five instead of six, and I got to do my whole Bible time before surgery. And that day, even though I didn't get enough sleep or anything, I felt refreshed And it's just so crazy how God answered my prayer and how I felt peace. My mom did get to go with me to the waiting room, but she didn't get to go back with me to my pre-surgery room. So I thought if that happened, I probably would be terrified. But the doctors and nurses and everybody was so, so nice and... I'm healing pretty well, not having any issues or anything. I have my post-op appointment next week, but I just want to encourage you guys with that little testimony that God is faithful and memorizing scripture is very powerful 
And when you memorize scripture, you can know those truths. And when you get afraid or when you're in situations that the scriptures that you're memorizing or memorized relate to, you can recite those scriptures. It's just amazing how memorizing scripture is and how memorizing scripture works. So I just encourage you guys to memorize some scripture because it is very important. So yeah, that's how my surgery went. And I'm feeling good. The most annoying thing about having gallbladder surgery, I think, was the soreness the first few days and stuff. Now, the most annoying thing and not fun thing is not being able to work out. So I can't wait until I can start working out again. So I'm looking forward to the day that I can do that. Let's get into the talking about this week and what I've been doing and all that. So what I've been doing this week is I needed to fill my cup up with scripture and to fill my cup up with the word of God, because even though I tried my best to stay in the word and stuff after surgery, I wasn't as intentional in digging as deep as I should have been during surgery. I was keeping up with my Bible reading plan, but I wasn't going deep. Right now, I'm just trying to go deeper into my Bible time. And I go to Maddie Ray's discipleship Zoom meeting every Thursday. And she gave us a challenge last week. She listed a few challenges for us to do with reading scripture, and I decided to read the book of Matthew this week. It has been incredible, and the challenge is read the whole book of Matthew in one week. I'm not done with it, but I will be done with it soon this week because I started it Monday, so I will be done with it, I think, tomorrow. Either tomorrow or Sunday, I can't remember. (laughs) But one of those days, I've been learning so much about who God is and I've been using a new color coding system in my Bible which I'll tell you a little bit about that I've been using green for areas that I can grow in and things to apply to your life and like characteristics that I want to have like say a person that has faith that you see and you admire that, I would highlight that in green. The characteristics of God, things that the word says that say something about God, I will highlight that in blue. It doesn't have to be like God speaking or God saying something, but it needs to be like something related to him. Like he's a healer in blue. That's a that's a thing that I've been seeing a lot in Matthew is Jesus being a healer. And two, I was reading in Matthew last night after John the Baptist was beheaded and it was talking about Jesus going off by himself after he heard the news about that. And I was like, wow, that just shows his humanity. And he was probably sad in that moment and he needed to grieve. And, but the crazy thing about that, that I learned last night was after that, even though he went along by himself, there was people following him, but he had compassion on them. So he healed them. And that showed the selflessness of Jesus in the love So things like that, I would highlight in blue for like the characteristics of him. And it's just been teaching me more about who God is. And it's just been really cool to see and really cool to learn. I've been doing that this week. I've not really been filming videos this week. I filmed I think one thing this week and I edited one thing this week, but I haven't been vlogging or any of that. I've just been trying to take it slow this week 
and focus on reading the word. And guys, I just want to tell you guys that the word is important and we need the word. That's what I've been trying to focus on this week. I've also been doing reading Acts this month in February. I'm reading Acts with my church and we have challenges and different things that we have to do each day. So that's been really good and really fun. I'm reading through the Bible with another church and I'm trying to stay up to date with that. So I'm reading in a lot of different places. I'm in Exodus. I'm in the book of Acts and I'm in the book of Matthew this week. So it's been really good being in the word this week. Like I said, I encourage you guys to get in the word and to memorize scripture. It's been really, really helpful for me personally, and I would encourage you guys to do that. So I hope a little bit of my testimony and how God gave me peace with my gallbladder helped you guys and about my color coding system and what I've been learning and what I've been doing this week encourages you guys. But I want to leave you guys with this. I got my Bible now. And I'm going to read you guys the passage of scripture that I was reading last night. This was what Jesus said. When he came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, others say Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. But he asked them, who do you say I am? Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the living God. Jesus responded, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father in heaven. I also say that you are Peter and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not overpower it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And he gave the disciples orders to tell no one that he was the Messiah. Last night, after reading that scripture, the Lord spoke to me and he was like, Sheridan, who do you say that I am? Who am I to you? And that was like, wow. When I felt like Jesus was speaking that to me right then and there. Who am I to you? Wow. That's like a wow, wow moment. And whoever is listening on this podcast, I just want to ask you the question. And I just want you to think of Jesus saying this to you right now. Who am I to you? Because it's very important to know God personally. I wrote in my journal my little book that I use for my Bible times. I wrote down who God is to me. And I'm going to read it to you. And this is how I'm going to end this podcast. Who is God to me? My healer. My peace. I've experienced both those things. He's healed me instantly. One time my ankle was hurt and he healed me in an instant at church after being prayed over. He is a healer and he healed me through gallbladder surgery and he gave me peace about my gallbladder surgery and I know him to be a healer and to be my peace. He is my father. He is my heavenly father. He is my friend. I talk to him all the time. He's my friend. He's my rock, my shepherd, my salvation, my hope. The one I talk to about everything. He knows me inside and out. I can't live without him. Jesus is my everything. He is so much more than I could ever list. So those are just some of the things that I wrote down. And I just encourage you 
to think, who is God to you? Do you have a walk with him? Do you have a relationship with him? Is there experiences that you've had that you know him as a healer and you know him as a friend and you know him as a father and you know him as all these things? And there's so much more things that I could have listed. But I encourage you guys to write out who God is to you because it's so awesome when you can know God for yourself. All the things that I was talking about earlier go hand in hand with knowing God with memorizing scripture and getting into the word and that's what I've been doing this week getting into the word and memorizing scripture has helped me so much lately so I encourage you guys to do the same but I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty episode of the podcast if you did like and subscribe to the podcast on whatever platform you're on but I'll Catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys.